What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Go Play favorite nerd. And today we are looking at the Foot Clan box set from the NECA SDCC exclusive uh, based on the Turtles arcade game, which comes with three Foot Clan members, purple, white, uh, orange, and then Shredder, as well as a slew of accessories. So, as you can see, they all come with closed fist hands, and then they all come with open hands as well, or holding hands, rather. And... There is a difference in skin tone between the foot and shredder, uh, for better or worse. I'm, you know, there's a little bit more yellow in the Foot Clan, and I don't know. Interesting. Once again, these all swivel. Look at that paint cracking. See, this is this is why I can't just jump on the co-signing booth of this. So you see the paint cracking? Look, it's coming right off. So don't tell, like, you know, people are, people are raving about the set, and look at that. Just coming right off. This should have been casted if they didn't know how to paint it. Irritating. They all hinge in and out, as do the hands that they have on. In addition, they come with uh, some accessories. This is a really cool one. Uh, has that one highlight strip down the center. Has this sculpted bit here, but no paint added to it, like a, a bandaged wrap. And then it has the blade with two shades of gray, which does look cool. Uh, we have two swords. Same uh, sculpt, different paint. We have the yellow, black, gray. We have a throwing star, which is fine. We have a little stick of dynamite, which is game appropriate. You got uh, highlights on the sides and the darker color in the center. That's fine. This is a plastic piece, so be careful. That'll break on you, no doubt about it. Uh, a little knife. Two shades of gray on the on the blade to give it a highlight, which is nice. And then the, the base is, is just the black plastic. The like, famous, or infamous rather, suction cup gun with highlight paint applied to it. Uh, a lighter gray on top of the darker gray. And then actually, I think that's a darker gray even than this gray, so it's got shadow on there as well, so that's cool. And then it's got some gray highlights on the blue itself. So all in all, that's a nice accessory. And then we have uh, the, please, hammer, don't hurt them, uh, giant hammer. Uh, once again, with uh, a shading and a highlight and a shading, uh, a highlight and a shadow, per se, on the actual hammer bit. So that's cool. So we're going to look at Shredder and then we're going to look at one of the Foot Clan and, and then we'll wrap up. And the head feels like it's on a double ball peg. I can't really... It might just be a single ball. I don't know. It feels like a double. Um, eyes are painted black, but I think that's game appropriate. And then we have the highlight. Um, looks like two shades of highlight for the grays. The pixelated grays and that looks good. And the sculpt is all money as well. So that's nice. Um, he comes in the packaging and some of his little spiky bits got bent up, so that's unfortunate, but not the worst thing in the world. And he has a soft piece of floating uh, cape, and we have black on, I think it's a, it's a black piece, and then we have a highlight paint added, and then the regular base purple paint. And it's a fairly cool little sculpt. So we have the shoulder pads, they're attached to the torso, uh, and then we have disc hinge shoulders, which are so tight I can't even get them up past there on either side and I feel like I'm gonna pop this bicep joint off this one but it's it's just it's it's terrible that joint tolerance is terrible it is one of the worst shoulder joints I've ever dealt with tolerance wise bicep swivel two uh, three shades of gray on the spikes and they're all painted well the paint is phenomenal across the board so I'll, I'll definitely say that for the waist, we have a waist swivel. It's right there. And then we have uh, a shadow on the pink. And then it's a different color back there. So it's three shades of purple as well, or pink, whatever you want to call it. So that's nice. Double jointed elbow. And they, that all that sculpt and stuff looks good. And we have some shadow on the back of the uh, tricep. Yeah. And then wrist swivel and then hinge. I'm not going to do the hinge because it's probably just going to flake the paint off, so why bother? All oh, the spiky bits are a soft plastic. And that one just popped out. Let's hope it's not broken. It's not. But be careful. I don't know, guys. I wanted to love this set, but I just don't. And then we have a soft piece of plastic here for the skirt, per se, the longer shirt, to 
uh, disc hinge, T-jointed disc hinge hips get you out to there, so that's fine. They're, they're not the prettiest joints in the world, old school Marvel Legends style, out to there, that's fine. Thigh swivels built into the bottom of it, we have two shades of gray added to the knee. Double jointed knee, get you all the way around. And then a calf swivel, uh, which these little spiky bits are applied to. Paint once again follows through. All the wrinkles in the pants and stuff are textured well. And then the uh, straps around the boots are all sculpted well well, and, and as, as well. And then a foot and then a toe hinge. Um, so that's fine. And that is... Shredder, forgot to mention, uh, our famous ball jointed ankles. So ankle tilt up, down, and slightest bit of a rocker. And one of our Foot Clan. And we'll, actually, let's, let's, let's do use a traditional purple Foot Clan. So we have the uh, paint, which is great, once again, across the board. On the purple, we have two different shades of purple. Both uh, shadows, not really highlights. I guess it depends on how you see it. And then uh, we have... Two shades of gray for the black, another two shades of gray for this lighter gray, and that seems to be just about it in this yellow paint on the eyes. So the head feels like a double ball peg for me from head to neck, and then the neck has a ball peg also, but fairly limited. But it gets you good up, fair da better down, fair up, and side to side. Same ball hinge shoulders, and the same tolerance issues too tight they're just they're too tight bicep swivel double jointed elbow I'm stressing that plastic as you can see unfortunate wrist swivel and hinge so that's all fine at least in terms of functionality if it would work properly waist swivel softer plastic down here coming out to uh, Y jointed hips and they're the same sculpt for Shredder, the legs, as far as what I can see. Um, so articulation out to there, forward and back to there. Thigh swivels built in, once again, really tight. I'm not going to mess with it. Double jointed knee, calf swivel, and then the ball jointed ankle. And that's this guy. The other ones are pretty much the same. Two shades shadows and highlights across the board and sculpt wise are the same the only one that we want to talk about is this fella because his feet are on backwards so in lieu of doing a skit today we're going to talk about how to fix that especially on a, on a piece with tight joints but it doesn't put much it doesn't make me put much faith in this company and i like NECA. all right so i've done something similar in the past with hot water just to show you how to straighten molds and stuff but this, the problem is, is that this is really on, I feel like I'm going to snap the peg that the ball joint is attached to. So if you can hear in the background, I'm running some hot water and I'm going to dunk his feet in and let him soak and we'll get back to it. All right, so we're ready. It's my kid's cup. Don't be judging. And uh, there's some steam coming off of it. It's pretty hot. We're just going to soak the feet for a bit. Let's see if that gave us anything. Pop right off. You see that? Now you kind of want to work relatively quickly because once it solidifies, well, it hardens again, it'll be harder to get on. So that's on. That's on. I'm going to get cold water. I'm going to redunk, and that should lock it in place. That just makes the uh, the plastic harden up again, so I won't have any issues. And I'm going to go ahead and try to put him in a standing position in there so that it hardens in a standing position, which will just help me posing for the shelf a bit later. So, hope that helps, collectors. Uh, I, I only had it in there for like two minutes, and it was, it was more than enough. You saw the one foot give me a little bit more trouble than the other, but uh, still worked. And there's a size comparison with a turtle in the third-party crank. Final thoughts wise, unfortunately it's more the same but a little bit more amplified. So the paint is still good. The articulation as, as far as what is engineered in is good. My baby's not happy. 
Um, but as far as how it pulls it off, not so much. There's paint chipping all over the place. I mean, can you see little paint chips all over the all over the mat there? There is chipping all over the place, and uh, the joints are stuck or they don't move properly or the, you know, it's just like, come on, man, for a hundred dollars, I f paint aside. I feel like Hasbro could have done a better job. Playmates probably could have done a better job. Paint aside. Not, none of them could do the paint like, like this paint is done. Uh, granted. The sculpts are good, but they're not out of this world good. I mean, they're good. They're solid. You know, but they're not like, oh, NECA's the only company that could do this. What I expected to, for NECA to bring to the table is the paint, which is there, and the sculpts, which is there, and the fluid articulation and functionality and that's not here and that's a real bummer so i definitely can't recommend this um, the turtles one i can recommend it if you if you if, if you really love the game but like there's just problems here i mean like they, they have a hard time standing they're not well balanced they're just it's it's the thought is there it's the follow-through that's not there for this set and trust me nobody's more disappointed to hear than i am i mean if you guys listen to nerd rage radio you know that i, I mean i had to jump through hoops to, to obtain this set. I mean, I really had to pour it on thick here at, at, the, at the home front. And I kind of feel like it probably wasn't worth it in hindsight, which is a bummer. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take care.